Hey guys, my name's Nate, I'm the Outdoorsman. Today, we're gonna to be talking about snacks. Specifically, snacks when you're on a day hike or when you're between camps, when you're on an overnight hike. Me and Cassie are on a day hike today and I wanna show you what type of snacks we like to pack. So, one of the first ones, usually fruit. Why don't I have a full, a full fruit to show you? It's because I'm an idiot and forgot to turn on the first takes audio, so. Fruit is great for, um, fruit is great because it has its own casing. Things like bananas, they really do have their own casing. Um, apples are really great as well. Um, and also oranges do have their own casing. Thing is, fruit packed with sugar, they are juicy, they keep you hydrated, and the other thing is, they're just really delicious. So, they're really good, and the other benefit, a lot of them, super, super cheap. So, great way to bring out a delicious snack on the trail. Also, a lot of them don't go bad quickly. So, fruit is really good for the trail. Now, let's move on to what else I like to pack. So, things that are also really great are things like trail mix. Now, I'm gonna preface this one. This one's not sponsored. So, Trail Mix is really, really good. This one specifically is one of the Grace ones. I think this one was like the peanut butter cookie one um, that they have. It's not sponsored. They tend to sponsor a lot of YouTube channels. Um, this one I found at a grocery store. They're pushing out to a lot of grocery stores. Now, the benefit of Trail Mix is, is one, you can find a lot of different varieties at grocery stores and stuff um, that are pre-made. The other benefit is you can make your own as well. Um, so you can customize it to the needs you need. You can put a lot of, you can put more nuts in it if you want, you can put sh more sugar in it. I tend to not put a lot of uh, chocolate in it like this one has um, during the warmer months because chocolate tends to melt and get really bleh inside of it. Um, but you can put things like pretzels in it if you want so you get the carbohydrate boost. So having all that different stuff in the trail mix. The other benefit of this is you can eat as much or as little as you want and you can move on with your day. And you can even sometimes put it in your pocket and just pick at it as you're going. So trail mix is amazing for the uh, trail. That's probably why they call it trail mix. Um, you can always also go with gorp, which is known as good old raisins and peanuts. Next best option, or another great option, bars. Protein bars, granola bars, anything like that. Um, I tend to care a lot more uh, granola bars lately, but also protein bars are great as well. I tend to stick more with the date bars. Um, I tend to get a lot of date bars in um, the Karen boxes, so I tend to get a lot of I tend to find a lot of a lot of them. I don't like Cliff Bars as much anymore, especially since I've gained a wide variety of them. Uh, they tend to give me a lot of acid, so. Meh. Jimmy Bars have become one of my favorites, but I found a lot of other good ones. Um, I think it's what, Crave also makes a really good one. But, Gunnel Bars are great. It can be a little bit pricey, um, and with both of those, if you're good in the kitchen, you can make your own as well. Um, one of the ones I also tend to, I've been liking a bit more lately, Nature Valley, really good. Now, one of the things with granola bars, they're, they're really good because they tend to carry a lot of carbohydrates, but also tend to have a little bit of sugar as well in it, and depends on which type you get. Um, if it's peanut butter, kind of a bit more protein, sometimes they can also have a bit more sugar. Um, like one of the ones I have is dark chocolate, or sugar, a bit of caffeine. Um, but carbohydrates in that is really, really good. Um, and having the protein bars, like with the date bars, gives you a little bit of protein to go. And the best thing is, again, you can eat these on the go. For my lunches or my snacks, I don't like to sit and eat cold. I don't like to sit and have to wait for my snacks to be made. Um, also, Epic makes meat bars. They're good. The turkey one is like a uh, Thanksgiving meal in a uh, bar. She does not agree with me on that one. But when you're on a trail, it really does taste like one. Set too high expectations for it the first time I tried it. 
<laughs> and it just led to disappointment. I'll have to try it again another time. It was really good. Um, so next thing, one of my other favorites, preserved meats. Things like sausage meats, uh, you can go with small, say summer sausage, pepperoni, or even jerky. I don't have jerky with me today. I just have this, uh, you know, pepperoni stick. Here. Um, so, the pepperoni sticks are really good. Um, they're packed with protein, have a lot of different spices, and also having jerky, it's really nice because you can, again, have a decent protein source while you're out in the woods. And if you're a meat lover like me, it's really nice to have something while you're on the trail. Or when it comes to dinner time, if you didn't eat these on the trail and you're going on overnight, I think, you can stick this in your meal if you have an dehydrated meal or ramen. So these are really nice and I really do like these. Um, these tend to be a little bit more pricey. Uh, there's a lot of different jerkies out there. There's a lot of good craft jerkies. I've stopped going with a lot of the cheaper jerkies lately because I found a lot of good jerky brands. Um, Think Jerky, I think it's one of the brands. It's really good. Um, I've had one of them. The texture is really good. Uh, what is the other one? Um, Steve's Paleo Goods is one I like to order every so often. It has a wide variety of proteins and flavors. Also a really good one if you're looking for one. Uh, sausage Links, I haven't found one. Steve's Paleo Goods offers some that are also really good, but um, this one particularly is Vermont um, Original. I like it. A little bit peppery. It's really nice. Um, I don't know if they have it outside then, out of New England, but probably. Last but not least, if you're looking for a lunch or kind of a, a protein snack, I don't have any bread on me, but some form of peanut butter and bread to make peanut butter sandwich. If you even have a honey packet on you, throw some honey in there. My favorite sandwich. Um, so, peanut butter, bread, peanut butter sandwich, or even just open face peanut butter sandwich. Uh, really good. You can get protein, get carbohydrates, keep you going. Um, the reason I don't like hot lunches when I'm on the trail is because it requires a lot of work. Um, you gotta heat up your food, you gotta eat your food, and then you, it's just taking up time that I could be doing other things. Like, it, I could be observing wildlife, we could be checking out some scenery, or something like that. If I'm planning on having hot lunch, I'll plan for a hot lunch. But if I'm just planning on going for a hike, I generally only want a cold lunch. I want to just eat when I want to eat, and I don't want to have to look for anything. So sometimes I plan for that. Plus, sometimes when I go on a lot of trails that I go on, I can't always have a fire or can't always have a camp stove. So having a cold lunch is really good. So these are the best stacks. Combine these with water and I'm golden on the trail now big question is what do you like taking out for snacks on the trail this has been kind of a generalization of some of the great things to bring out on the trail but what are your favorite snacks what are things you like to bring out um, I love to hear it I love to hear you guys discuss down below um, but anyways, my name's Nate I'm the otter outdoorsman this has been Cassie um, but remember, get outside, have some fun, have some good snacks as well. Anyways, see everyone.